So today we're driving a 2016 Dodge Challenger SRT 392. This is kind of an interesting year and spec. It's before the Scat Pack came out, but it has a lot of Scat Pack parts. It has the big brakes, the Hellcat wheels, uh, adjustable suspension, different drive modes. We have 485 horsepower out of this 6.4 liter V8. We have an eight speed automatic transmission in this Challenger. Let's start it up and we'll take it for a drive. This is bone stock, except for a resonator delete. That was performed by MRT Performance here in Plymouth. <laughs> and it sounds fantastic. Honestly, the resonator delete for these cars is just about perfect. It's pretty much all you need to do. You do a full cat back and it sounds about the same. This is just a really nice exhaust sound. Go into my custom drive mode here. I've got transit to sport, paddle shifters on, traction and sport, suspension and street, and steering and sport. We'll start with that, tweak as necessary. I've driven a lot of these challengers over the years part-time instructor at M1 Concours in Pontiac, Michigan, and we use the Hellcats as our thrill ride track vehicles. They're super fun to wheel around, surprisingly capable on track. They actually handle pretty well. They do go through tires and brakes because they are heavy, but they're just so much fun. Sounds super good with just that resonator delete. About four, three or four hundred dollars installed. This eight speed is fantastic, it just bangs gears. Super comfortable suspension in street mode. You want to stiffen it up, get super direct response at steering, throw it in a track, and you can immediately feel everything stiffen up. 75 miles an hour, exhaust sounds great too, no drone. You get down to 70 and it gets a little bit louder, but overall, this exhaust sounds really nice. Just a little bit louder than stock. Just about perfect in my opinion. I actually really like this in silver. It's got a little bit more of a sleeper look to it. A little bit less attention grabbing. Of course, whenever you're in a Challenger, you're gonna get a little bit of attention. That's just the way it goes. This one has 19,651 miles on it. It's not the cleanest uh, Challenger with 19,000 miles on it. It's had a little bit of a rough life. It's paint scratched on the roof, but the owner got this for a pretty good deal and uh, he's gonna clean it up and bring it back to its former glory. It drives
drives great though, it feels really tight. It's just a simple, fun, enjoyable muscle car. Driver focused. of grip levels. Super comfortable on the highway, very livable exhaust tone. I love how spacious these interiors are. They're actually pretty practical. There's a decent amount of room in the back and the trunks in these are enormous, especially for a modern coupe. I've always thought that these Challengers with a 392, not the Hellcats, are just as fun to drive as the Hellcats. You're pretty much missing out on some supercharger wine, but the driving experience, the fun factor is all there. And it's such a great, enjoyable, balanced muscle car. The Mustang has lost a little bit of feel and tactility. It's a bit numb these days. This still has a decent amount of steering feel. It's just engaging enough to satisfy the driver. It makes a good sound. The Camaro's definitely more of a sports car. This is a bit more of a muscle car, pony car, but oh, I just love it. It's, it's a great package. If you can find a decent new or used example, it's a pretty good daily driver. It's a fun car to own and live with do get broken into pretty often though because they're pretty easy to steal but anyway thanks to MRT here in Plymouth for connecting us with the owner of this Challenger it's been fun to get into one of these again and get another video out on the channel for you guys <laughs> alright thanks for watching we'll see you guys later show you guys the trunk I'm talking about all the practicality and didn't show you anything Look at all that space 
It's amazing. Struts are a little bit weak. <laughs> Looks really sharp on these wheels. 